So sorry, I'm at the cafe. Hold, hold on a minute. Please say it again. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can finally hear you. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Lewis P here. Today what we're gonna be talking about is noise canceling microphones and noise canceling speakers. Now you've probably actually never heard this term before, but it's actually a thing now because this company called Crisp has actually developed the technology where you don't have to go out and buy a separate microphone or buy separate speakers to achieve this result. Now the first question you're maybe asking is what exactly is a noise canceling microphone and what exactly is a noise canceling speaker? So very similar to noise cancelling headphones what their objective is to cancel out all the noise surrounding the actual goal of what you're listening to so if you're listening to like some Bose noise cancelling headphones or Sony noise cancelling headphones you know that once you activate the noise cancellation on those headphones it will block all of the surrounding noises the dogs barking even if you're on a plane it's really powerful for that this works exactly the same way however it's intended in a different format so think about how you can use that in the context of a microphone so for example if I'm using my microphone microphone with a noise cancelling component to that, my intention is that you can only hear my voice and very little of, if none, of the background noise. If I have a dog barking, if I have a baby crying, if I have music playing in the background, even if it's very silent, my intent is for you not to hear that at all. And I'm going to show you an example of that coming up. And of course, the, it works in the reverse way as well. So if you have a noise cancelling speakers, you actually, if you want to hear someone communicate, whether that's your boss, anything like that, you want to just hear their voice. So this works in that way as well. So I'm going to actually show you this application in the flesh and show you how powerful it is. But in a nutshell, that's what Crisp is. And of course, I have a link in the description, which will take you directly to this platform, which of course you want to take advantage of, believe me. And when it comes to the affordability of this, we're talking about this application is less than like the price of a lollipop. It's $3 a month. And I highly recommend you explore purchasing and investing into something like this. And of course, if you really want to go this far, you can even make this a tax deduction because you will be using this in your professional life. So who is Crisp for in a nutshell? It's built for remote professionals, especially when you're working from home and you have family in the background and all of those things. It's built for freelancers. It's built for podcasts. It's built for gamers and streamers. It has been amazing to use it on Discord and all of these applications that works across Skype and everything. Whatever your microphone can work with, it can work with the application. So literally unlimited applications provided your microphone works with the application, which is all of them. Of course, this is really, really good for businesses as well. So if you have remote teams, if you have call centers, even if you're in a sales environment, you actually don't want to have your listener being distracted by the background noise of other sales reps. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Most of the time it's actually very bad because you want that lead to be focused on your voice and nothing else. If there is a random scream in the background, it doesn't really make you look professional. And of course, for more businesses and enterprise. And of course, guys, I only show you applications that I personally use. So before I go into the actual examples of this being used in like a rave environment, I'm going to give you literally the worst case scenario of how powerful this platform is. So it'll easily handle anything else. I want to talk about the technology behind it and explain a bit more what they've done, this Chris company, and also the different pricing structures. So let me go into the pricing structures really quick because I can get that out of the way really fast. So let's go into the different pricing structures really quickly. So in a nutshell, there's the free, there's the pro, and the, there's obviously the teams. With the free version though, you don't get the, the speaking ability, you don't get the noise cancelling microphone, and that's the big play here. That is the, the big selling point of all of this. It will help you with the listening component. The free version will give you noise cancellation speakers, which basically means if someone else is talking in a louder environment, you can activate that and it'll work. If you want to actually communicate and you have a lot of background noise and you want it to be very clear and have your listener focused on your voice rather than the background noise, you're obviously going to have to want to invest in the $3 version, which is basically free anyway, to be honest, like $3 a month. You're not even feeling that. And then of course, you will have the ability to use a 14 day free trial of both the speak and the listen. So if you want to take advantage of that, go for it. I personally just jumped right into the pro version because I knew this thing would work. And of course, with the pro version, you can use it on three devices. Now remember this works on Mac OS and it's coming out very soon on the Android and the iPhone. So look out for that coming out on your phones. And that once that happens, that's next level stuff. And I'm really looking forward to that. And if you're a business, of course, you can invest in the team component of that, which, you know, you dedicated 
support, which you really don't need. It's very easy to use. You can, you know, deploy it in your internal systems. You have an admin panel. You can see how your users are using it, you know, team usage and all that stuff. And of course, the big one, and this applies to both the pro and the free version, but, you know, the security behind it as well, which is pretty vital. So let's jump into the actual technology of CRISP. How exactly is CRISP doing this and pulling this off? Now, they're calling this thing called deep neural networking. They call it the CRISP net DNN. It's a bit of a tongue twister, but basically what they do is they, in a nutshell, we install this software onto your platform. Then they're using technology and they've done a lot of research behind this and how to get it right. And they've listened to 20,000 noises. They've then used 10,000 plus distinct speakers. And you know, this neural network is actually constantly learning and growing. And that's why it's like a subscription method, right? And then of course, two and a half thousand hours of audio testing. So based on these things, uh, they've basically learned how to develop this, you know, this, this crisp net. It sounds like something from Transformers, but this is what they're calling it. So they've collected all of this data, you know, they've, they've gotten all the distinct sounds, they have all these distinct speakers and multiple hours of recordings, and then they've added it all together and built this platform, otherwise known as CRISP, you know, and they've built this technology, this noise cancelling microphone and noise cancelling speaker technology that can basically remove all of the background noise. Let me just explain to you really fast how this um, actually works. So there are two different components and two or two different layers to this. You have the microphone, which is obviously what you speak into. These are your basic sound waves that go through. This is hitting your microphone. Now, the crisp microphone is your microphone. Don't think it's a separate thing. This is basically your crisp is taking over your microphone as a filter, and it just gives the user, the person listening to it, or the output, if you will, just exactly what they need to hear, aka your voice. It removes all the background noise, and it gives them a crystal clear sound of who or what you're saying. Now, the speaker component works the other way. So if if you're receiving a lot of information from a user, so let's say an executive that you're talking to at your company or a good friend of yours or a family member or whoever it is, uh, is talking and they're outside, they're on the road and you know, you hear buses going off, you hear sirens, you hear maybe dogs going off or whatever it is. Basically the crisp speaker works in the exact same way whereby crisp will take over your existing speakers and essentially act as a filter to just give you exactly what you need to hear, AKA their voice. And that is it in a nutshell. Now, a lot of you you and a lot of people are very concerned about the privacy. They've actually, one of their big missions, which I really respect, is all of the audio processing is happening on your laptop. It's not happening on a cloud, therefore it's not being stored in some external database. It's all centralized on your computer. It's not using a cloud. It's not using anything. Essentially, whenever you update Crisp, which is updating quite often and it's only getting better over time, they will of course update the features and the sensitivities and all of those things, but they don't store store or send any of your voice data to anyone and it's all local on your systems. So don't be afraid at all. Their technology is intended for security in mind and it's all on your systems, which is really, really, really good. Now, of course, I have a link in the description to this. Take advantage of that. Click the link. You can easily install it. It's as simple as clicking that button. It'll install on the bottom left. You click the install button and then it'll actually just do it all for you. And then what will happen is you'll see a little message that looks like this. And this is where the example comes. So let's actually use Chris in the real world and actually create the worst possible environment possible that I can think of. And that's basically a rave music type environment to illustrate how powerful this software is. So most of the time what will happen is you'll probably have like a dog in the background. You'll have maybe just people talking in the background. It won't be as heavy as this, but I want to just show you how powerful this platform is because it really is insane. So I'm about to play some music from my speakers, which you'll be able to hear right now. So I'm currently playing music in the background of my speakers. Now what I'm going to do is activate Crisp and actually show you the power of this. Crisp can already see that it can be utilized. At the bottom right, you can actually see this go off. Now what I'm actually going to do now is turn it on and it's actually going to remove that noise entirely. And you could probably already notice it right now that my voice is much more distinct and the central point is you can only hear that. So you can only hear my voice right now. You probably can't hear any anything else in the background. Granted, remember it's taking away music, which is a big deal. My voice quality won't be as high. However, you are only hearing what I need to say. So if we now go back to the music, you can now hear the music and it's pretty loud. 
and I'm going to turn it back on and of course it's going to cut out a lot of that noise as well. So this is a perfect example of Chris being used in the real world but times 10 as a result of all of the music that's playing. Again I'm going to disable it and the reason you know this is working is because I'm actually communicating while I'm turning it off and on and that's that's a central point here. I'm not just turning it off changing my music, turning it off, changing my music. This is a legitimate thing that I'm doing right now, whereby you can hear it in the flesh. And this is the worst possible case scenario because like, it's really, it's going off right now. My house is basically a rave and I've just disabled it completely just as a result of Chris being used in a noise cancelling environment. So really, really powerful stuff. So that is crisp in a nutshell. If you think it'll actually work for you, if you actually think it'll make you sound better, if you're a podcaster, if you're a gamer, if you're a streamer, if you want to get into streaming and you don't like wearing headphones, if you want to sound more professional in front of your colleagues, your executives and all of these things, even to your team, this is an application that will definitely help you. And that's why there is a business pricing model for that. But then again, I just recommend click the link in the description, take advantage of that, use the $3 a month version. And it's literally, you only even feel that in your bank account. It's just really, really powerful stuff. And I've shown you an example. I've showed you what is crisp. I've showed you how it works. I've showed you also the technology behind it. I've also explained to you that it's secure and how much does it cost. And of course the tax deductibility of that. Again, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I really, I really appreciate it. And also tell me some different use cases you're actually using crisp on. Are you using it for like, what type of background noise are you really surprised that it's removing? Have you ever actually been in a conference before and just blasted music? Have you ever been in a team meeting and blasted music in your background just for the lols? I'd love to hear how you guys are actually using Crisp in unique and creative ways. So feel free, comment below. You know, I'm gonna uh, reply to everything that you guys say anyway. I'm, I got your back. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Utilize that link in the description. Take advantage of that. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Louis P out.